Hello students, welcome to Rock Appreciation. I'm so glad you're taking this course. I think you're really gonna enjoy learning more about rock and roll and perhaps the coolest music genre ever created. My name is Dr. Nathan Tharp. You can call me Nate for short. That's what my students call me. It's much easier. I just wanna do a quick getting started video for you here to show you how to use the course and your assignments that are due for the first week. I'm going to talk fast and to the point. I know it's not very entertaining, but I don't think you want to sit and listen to me for 20 minutes when you've got a very busy life going already. So I'm going to step through each thing here, show you how to do the assignments, and if you have questions, you will be able to contact me. This is the course homepage. This is what it looks like here. If I click on this rock music history, it takes me to that page. There's a couple things I want to show you on the homepage. First, on the left here, you see this column. This column is canvas wide. You will use this to access your Canvas profile, your courses that you're taking. If I click on here, I'm only in one course. Your dashboard, which is a shortcut to some of your courses. The calendar of when things are due. And your inbox, which oddly enough, your inbox is how you send emails to your professors, including me. Once you're in the course, I've gone to courses, I've selected my course, you'll see the course title here at the top, and on the left, the menu items for that course, which I can hide and show by clicking this little three bar thing at the top. The first menu item in this course is the modules. The modules section is the main homepage to the course, and when you click that, you will see the weekly modules with all the resources and assignments for the course. That's our homepage. That's where we're going to spend most of our time. The next place you will spend time is in the grades section. When you click grades, it'll show you the grades you've gotten for all of the various assignments in the courses, plus when they are due. If I scroll down, you'll see there are quite a few assignments. Hopefully they aren't going to be that hard, uh, but there are quite a few of them. And at the bottom, your total assignment. If you see assignment with a dash, it means it has not been graded. Don't stress out. It's not counting for or against you. Announcements. Each week I will send out an announcement about what to do that week and some instructions on how to do it. During my virtual office hours, you can chat with me. Otherwise, I'll have in-person office hours. To find out when those are, come down to the syllabus section, and here's the syllabus for the course for this particular semester. I will discuss the syllabus in a separate video, but if you'd like to read through it, you can probably avoid even looking at that video by reading through the syllabus. I'm going to go back to the course homepage by clicking on the, the course name up here. The last important thing on the course homepage is the calendar over here on the right and on the left. What does the calendar do? Well, it shows you when things are due for this course and your other courses. If I click on this calendar here, I see beginning on March 5th that there are four things due every single Monday. I will have that for most of my courses during the 16-week semester. During shortened semesters, uh, condensed courses, there will probably be two due dates, probably Monday and Thursday. I will make assignments available on the Tuesday before, and you have one week to complete all those assignments. This is a great place to go and know what is coming up next. You can also show and hide your different courses here. You'll see that I'm only in one course in this account. So calendar, menu items for the course you're in, the Canvas system-wide toolbars over here, your inbox for emailing me. Those are the most important things there. Now, let's jump into the Getting Started module. Each week, I have the week number there. Week number one, Getting Started. I think you've probably already take, taken a look at the Start Here information and watched this video. Some other resources for you that are important for the whole class. One is these links. You need to be able to get to all these things and use them. What's the first one? The textbook, American Popular Music, The Rock Years. This is not a textbook heavy course. You do not need to go buy this textbook. Please don't. Okay, my goal is for, to make this free for you. We won't even use the textbook until about halfway through the course. When you click on that link, it's going to ask you to log in with your Mount SAC email information. Once you log in, you can begin to read the, the textbook online. Okay, Many of you won't even need to do this because you can get an A in the course without doing it. Some of you will want to do it because uh, you'll want that reference tool, okay? And some of the quizzes have questions that come directly from that textbook. Quizlet, your second important resource. Quizlet is where you will learn the terms for this course. And you'll see here I have Quizlet sets that correspond basically to our weekly modules. When I go into a Quizlet set, song form terminology, I see a bunch of terms and definitions and I need to memorize those, okay? There's about 15 to 20 per week. I can 
access those by looking at them as flashcards. Look something like that. I can write my own terms in. There's a games that can be played over here. You can access those from your phones or from the computer and they will help you learn these terms. You'll need these terms for your quizzes. YouTube and Spotify. These are both both important. You have to be able to access both technically and functionally. So make sure you know how to use YouTube and Spotify. Click on those links, confirm you can get there, install Spotify if you need to. I have to use both because YouTube has some of the older music that we're going to be looking for, um, but sometimes things get taken off of YouTube, especially newer music. So then I use Spotify for those. Each week I'll be posting a link to the playlist for that particular week. Lastly, the rock music timeline. This timeline right here is something once we get into the decades, we'll be referring to pretty consistently. So you want to be able to access that. And so I've provided these all at the beginning of the course in the Getting Started module. I've given you a few other links because I think it's really important to start thinking about your careers. Since you're at school and you're taking this course, I would like you to leave this course with some idea of what you want to be doing. Many of you might already have that. For those of you who don't, or even those who do, this is a great place to start looking at what's really going on out there in the world. This first one especially doesn't exist anywhere. I put this together from real data from the state for real jobs that are really out there. What does it take to get those jobs? I'm going to have an assignment with some extra credit in week three or four that will reference this so that if you are interested in pursuing this more, you can get some extra credit for it. So those are the links that were required for the course. The next important thing is the open forum discussion. This discussion is where you can ask questions of your colleagues and help your colleagues. And you know what? Good questions and good help will get you points. So if you want to ask anything of any colleague, I will give you extra credit for anything in this open forum. It's a great place to get answers to when I'm not available. I'm available a lot. You can email me a lot, but I'm not always available. In fact, I tend to like to do other things on the weekends sometimes. And Monday and Wednesdays, I'm in class all day. So it can be hard to reach me, you know, obviously when I'm in class. And if you can't wait, then this is a great place to get answers from your colleagues. There's over a hundred of you in this course. So there's going to be somebody who can probably help you out. Okay. And like I said, you help someone out and you get some extra points. It's a great way to do it. This discussion, this open forum discussion is going to be the place that you can ask those questions of your colleagues. And that's right up here in the Getting Started module. Okay, glad you're in the course. Hit me up with any questions and I'm sure I'll be in quite a bit of communication with you over the first couple weeks. I'm looking forward to having you and I hope you really enjoy the class. Thanks. Bye.